just as I'm about to do my intro, Michael, he's nicked one from out from under my nose. Feels all right, you say, yeah. Uh... Weird, that feel well that. <laughs> what the hell? Get it in the net. Let's have a look at it. But look at that little dink. <laughs> there we go. It's a little dinky common. <laughs> but he's off the mark at least. Right, well done, mate. You join me here today. I'm back at Chester Lakes, but I'm actually fishing the newly opened Swan Lake. I'm fishing on Peg One, which is sort of like a point uh, swim. It's essentially the lake. It's it's almost like a horseshoe, and I'm on the backside of the actual lake. Uh, the bonus for me is I've got some nice Norfolk reeds to my left. I've got two sets. One really close, like. 10 15 foot away and then a bigger thicker set which are about 30 foot away which i might try them a little bit later i've just recently cast i've got a small bay to my right which i've chucked my i think it was my yellow fruit and nut wafters gone in there and then right out in open water i've chucked my white 12 mil fruit and nut pop up um, the lake itself it's completely clay uh, spoke to the bailiff it's all clay based here, um, no weed, no silt, no nothing like that. There is quite a lot of small fish in here, as you would have seen also. My next door neighbour's just had a fish and it's a dink. <laughs> but there is some upper doubles in here, up to I think the late record, they're saying it's mid 20s. Definitely we can safely enough. say it's definitely big here, but Michael's in again. I was just about to do an update on my video and then bang, his rod's ripped off and he's just to the other side of his rod, so I've had to win it, but he's grabbed it back and then he's playing it, but at least this one's staying down, so it's a whole lot better than that, at best, half a pounder than what he had last. <laughs> yeah, probably like a four or five ounce. <laughs> but yeah, the, the owner I've said, there is a lot of baby carp in here, so this is more ideally suited for come in with your lad or if you're new to carp fishing you want to get a few bites guaranteed and, and big fishing so well. yeah there's some bigger fish in here but you don't have to deal with roach and bream and all that as well it's just carp so it, do you dare even guess no, the no, weight no, 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 no. a rough weight half an ounce <laughs> half an ounce anything above you'll be happy they fight like crazy the smaller ones yeah the scrappy the bigger ones you know because they plod yeah. they plod yeah this one's just scrappy that's one uh, at least this one's one in each rod now as well we're just hoping we can go through these and he's in we can go through these and hopefully get amongst some of the better ones a bit later there we go so like like we said probably about two pound or so but it's another carp for the size of the lake it's only roughly about one and a half to two acres max in size as I said, there is a lot of small carp in here as well, um, up to about mid-20s. Uh, but the lake's clear. Um, the pegs fairly spaced out. There's about, I think it's eight pegs in total. You can go on the website now to put your pegs as well. Uh, there isn't a picture of what pegs are what at the moment, but I'm sure by the time this comes out or over the next couple of weeks, they will put a map of where the peg numbers are. Um, but yeah, I mean, where I am on peg one, peg two is fairly close to it, but then peg three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, there's quite big spaces between them. Um, but yeah, there's quite a few features. There's a lot of reeds, rushes, um, but yeah, it's from when I've been leading about, it's fairly, fairly universal on the bottom. There's no big troughs, but again, I've only had a few casts at the moment, but. Let's just see what the uh, lake produces a bit later on for me. As you can probably hear under the umbrella, the weather has changed for the worse and the rain has started hitting us. Um, on the catching front, nothing yet. I've had a few liners on both the rods, so that's something. I have recently just changed my left hand rod uh, that was on white fruit and nut pop up, the 12 mil one. I've recently put that on a 12 mil uh, washed out pink OG fish pop up just to see if fish on this water is a bit more productive. You never know, you've got to try it. Um, but as I say, 
out of the five or six of us that are on the lake at the moment. It's the first weekend uh, the lake's been open. Uh, nothing else has been caught yet. What I probably will do, my right hand rod, I think I'm gonna swap that out that's currently on a OG uh, fruit and nut um, magic bean 14 mil wafter. I'm probably gonna put a match a hatch wafter in OG fish again just to see if fish actually triggers a bit more of a feeding response on the water and yeah you got to be in it to win it you've got to try these different things when it is tougher and you're not getting bites you've got to adapt and change I want to be next door neighbor I thought he was in then for a second so I'm just hoping the bigger fish are coming in soon and we get actually some better fish other than pasties should we say but i'll let you know right guys so for me it's been a very very slow day but i'm very happy because to stop me from a potential blank is this little but stunning probably only what two three pounds something like that but look at that for a fully scaled one for the future there is a lot of small fish in here, so it is a water really that's best suited for either if you're starting carp fishing or if you're going to bring some of your kids with you, it's an ideal place for that. But I'll quickly show you this other side. Uh, this one fell to a 14 mil OG uh, fish bottom bait to some far reeds in the corner. So. It's only a little dinky fish, but it's a stunner for the future. Right, let's get this one back. Right, let's get this up. As I was just chucking that other one back, my left hand rod has gone that was on OG Fruit and Nut 14 mil bottom bait. Again, another small carp, but look at that linear is it linear part linear but lovely scale little cart for the future so yeah we'll get this one back in right guys so that was a mad little 10 minutes uh, like i say my right hand rod went off that was on og fish 14 mil bottom bait down towards some reeds and then literally just as i got that in the cradle just as I recorded it uh, and just about to put it back my other rod starts going off after I dismantled my net to bring the first one in so <laughs> it was a case of chuck that first one in quick uh, grab my rod and then in between grabbing my rod I had to put my uh, net together again to land that second one both of them being pretty small anything up to i don't know i didn't bother weighing them two three maybe four pound i don't know but uh, a fully scaled mirror and a half linear so i think there will be a lot of small fish in here uh, so if you are expecting big fish be prepared obviously there is a lot of small ones which in a couple of years all these are going to be your eights your tens but just at the moment they are pretty small um my mate was here on thursday um he had a 10 pound i think it was 10 15 um actually on a pole <laughs> so that put up a big fight and um, the other mate who was with him he had quite a few but again all small fish again so we'll just see what happens i'm here for about another couple of hours so if i can get one more before i go I'll be more than happy. Stay tuned throughout this video because I will be doing the announcement for the 1000 subscriber bait giveaway. Don't skip the video, watch it through so you don't miss out. Alright guys, so on peg one, my first one came from these reeds over here and then my second carp came from just on the bend on here. I say that first one was 14 mil OG fish bottom bait. And then the left hand rod, pretty much the opposite variant, OG uh, fruit and nut 14 mil bottom bait. So yeah, bottom bait is the way to go here. Um, I did try wafters and pop-ups um, and in various colors, but I didn't get more than 
a line bite so obviously bottom bait seem to work the best here it is clay based so you don't have to worry about presentation so and if you if you are still a bit worried with this uh it is a bit soft clay by all means do a pva bag with it as well you know you're on a winner then so but yeah defo defo try bottom baits if you're coming here right guys and girls so i thought i'd do a quick uh, peg walk round for you on swan lake at chester lake so this was peg one the one that i fished today this is peg two where my mate was today he caught most of his well his two we're down this corner so this is the quote-unquote island on swan lake as you walk on peg five nice bit of open water to try far margins this lovely peg that they've done chip barked all good to go this is suitably peg six again open water my right, guys so this is peg seven so open water some nice bulrushes and then peg eight is in that bottom corner which i'm speaking to the guy on peg seven it's a bit of a hot peg so Right, there we go guys. Alright guys and girls, so I've just got back. Um, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I did get a couple in the end. Uh, that weather was shocking. It was raining pretty much throughout to the end. Yes, they were dinky fish, but at fully scaled, that is a future banger. Like I say, that at even £10, but that at £15 or £20 would be an absolutely stunning fish. And then that second half linear, it was a nice fish. Yes, they were only like, at best, a couple of pound, uh, but it was it was good just to get a fish from a new lake. Um, but yeah, on with the announcements uh, for the giveaway. So first place is, I'll let Steve put the editing magic into this. So first place, right, well done. If you get in contact with me on Instagram or Facebook, um, I'll get back to you and then obviously we can get your prizes sent out to you. Right, second place. Well done. Again, contact me, Facebook, Instagram, and we'll get that out to you. Right, and third place. Again, well done. Again, also, if you contact me on Facebook, or Instagram and get your prizes out. Um, I will probably do another giveaway when we hit 1,500 subscribers and then another one at 2K, but I really do want to take this moment as thank everyone. Uh, I didn't really ever think I was going to get 1,000 subscribers. Uh, when I first started, I was didn't have any equipment really. I had a rubbish iPhone that you couldn't really hear me if you go back to my first video. It was quiet. I was, I'm not a timid person, but I was timid in front of a camera. I don't know why. So, but yeah, it's obviously helped me uh, grow doing obviously YouTube. So again, I hope you have enjoyed the content so far. Uh, any preferences for further videos? I know a few of you have commented, uh, you like the father and son video. If you want another part of that, I know my son does want to go out carp fishing with me again pretty soon. So even if we go back to that Lake Tranquility for a round two, he's definitely up for that. Um, also comments on the perch fishing video, basically something other than carp. Obviously carp is my favourite species, but I am an all-round fisherman from all coarse fish, um, trout, salmon, sea fishing, I've done it all and I love doing it all. Um, just because you don't see me doing sea fishing videos, don't think I don't go sea fishing, vice versa, trout, salmon, etc. etc. I do do it, it's just majority goes uh, for carp fishing. But again, get in the comments, you're my audience, so if you want to see other stuff, by all means, and yes. Um, I'm with a boily company, but again, boilies, a lot of coarse fish eat them. You've got carp, obviously. 
you've got Chubb, you've got Barbel, you've got Bream, you've got Tench. You, pff, the list goes on and on and on. Um, also, liquids, even some of our liquids for dead baits, pike fishing, catfish, also them boilies, I didn't even mention catfish as well. Uh, if you want to see a catfishing video, by all means, get on to me. I've got a lot of venues I could go to do some proper, decent catfishing sessions. So yeah, let me know. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the next video.